the wealthiest 1% of the population in this country owns more wealth than the bottom 90%. So if we're going to talk, I guess it's not interesting, Mr. Chairman. It is also because we apparently lack the funds to provide them a minimal standard of living. I fear very much that what we said yesterday is that war and the enormous destructive power of our armed forces is our preferred manner for dealing with the very complicated and terrible crises in the Middle East. I fear that someday we will regret that decision and that we are in fact laying the groundwork for more and more wars in that region in years to come. Mr. Speaker, it is incumbent upon us to do everything in our power now that the war has started to prevent unnecessary bloodshed and to support our troops in the most basic way by bringing them home alive and well. Any shocking doubt? The same people that would vote to cut defense $177 billion, the same ones that would put homos in the military, the same ones that would not fund BRAC, the same Mr. ones Chair, that would not clear up. Mr. No, I will not. Sit down, you socialist. Mr. Chair. And the gentleman from Vermont is right. Well, the gentleman what from purpose? California is Mr. Mir. For what purpose does the gentleman from Vermont rise? Rise to speak in support of the amendment. The gentleman from Vermont. I wonder if I could gentleman. question the gentleman the gentleman, the gentleman, the chair is in charge, the chair is speaking. The gentleman from Vermont has been recognized for a period of five minutes, and you may now proceed. I thank the chairman very much. I'd like the opportunity if the gentleman from California would respond. Just ask him a brief question, if I might. Now, my ears may have playing, been playing a trick on me, but I thought I heard the gentleman a moment ago say something, quote-unquote, about homos in the military. Was I right in hearing that expression? Absolutely. Putting homosexuals in the military. You said something about homos in the military. Was the gentleman referring to the many thousands and thousands of gay people who have put their lives on the line in countless wars defending this country? I'm was talking, that group of people that the gentleman was referring to? I'm talking about the military people in the military do not support... That's not what you're talking about. You use the word homos in the military. You have insulted thousands of men and women who have put their lives I'm talking on the line. about I you. Think, sometimes I think that the people in this institution and in the White House are really losing contact and not knowing what's going on with the American people. In case you don't know, and you haven't seen the latest polls, the American people hold the President of the United States in contempt. They hold this institution in contempt. They hold the Republican Party in contempt. They hold the Democratic Party in contempt. They think that maybe, given all of the crises facing this country, it's about time that there was some bold leadership here, $170 billion a year on the military, but we don't have a major enemy. I know it hurts your feelings. I know you're upset about it. I know you're hoping and praying that maybe we'll have another war. Maybe somebody will rise up, but it ain't happening. The Soviet Union doesn't exist. The Warsaw Pact is through. Who are you worried about? Iraq? Panama? Who are you worried about? I'll tell you who I'm worried about. I'm worried about the fact that our workers are seeing a decline in their standard of living. They want to see our industry be rebuilt. That's what they want to see. No more B-2 bombers. No more Star Wars. Let's make the quality products we need. Let's invest in American industry. The Amer no, I won't yield. The American people want to see our kids educated. They want a Head Start program. They want their kids to be able to go to college. They want to wipe out the fact that 5 million children in this country go to bed hungry. They want child care for their kids. They want decent education. Let have the guts to give some leadership to this country. The Cold War's over. Let's reinvest in America. Let's support this amendment. People always ask me, why do I call him? Superman Sanders. And I always tell him, because he's a fucking hero.
โอ้ยอนเพราะความจริงคือ some level when you hurt when your children hurt I hurt I hurt. The truth is at some level when you hurt when your children hurt I hurt I hurt. Thank you all very much for your patience. And let me say this: it is hot here. If there are any folks who are feeling frail, speak up now. We got some, you know, sit down somewhere. Okay. And anybody in that condition, are we okay? Anybody? You're not feeling well. You okay? Is, is that all right? Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? Thank you. She's, she just walked out, and she's sure going to be okay.